very proud of, of our ability to be able to tell these stories and use our critical thinking and understand what we're experiencing. It's because I'm a yeshiva boy. I'm a yeshiva boy. Yeshiva boy. All right, we went to yeshiva and we, we love learning. And to me, this whole experience is us just, you know, a little bit more steiging. Today, we're at yeshivas. The Reb is Josh Masson. And today, we're in Neruda Bowl, Teaneck, New Jersey. It's fun, it's noodles, it's a lot of Asian, there's a lot of very, very well constructed in a Talmudic sense of understanding things. This is called kamote. Kamote is Japanese yam, you freeze it and then you cook it and it's almost like a dessert. It's super sweet. Imagine that this is brown sugar caramel made out of sweet potato with salty on top. I have an incredible texture on the well-sourced sweet potato itself. Because it's cooked in a certain way, it's extremely caramelized. And then there's this magnificent use of like a mellow white miso. There's seaweed and sesame in there. And it's just highlighting and rounding out the edges of that sweetness, salty and sweet and caramel. That's a perfect savory sweet bite. Kamote. Shishitos are a one in 10 are spicy, they're salty, and they're blistered. And special attention has to be shown here to the blistering. Also, if the lemon's on the plate, squeeze it. <laughs> spicy one or not? Oh, you got a spicy one? <laughs> salty, 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 boom, fresh. There are people in this world who I expect to perhaps show me an, a, a pure example of what a benchmark dumpling should be. This is a man who spends a lot of time pouring a lot of effort. This is his story and very specific things like the way the vinegar and the sauces and the texture of everything. That's a dumpling, but a dumpling made by a man who can execute. The most wondrous parts of a dumpling are all the parts together. So you have a broth that's created kind of by the fats that can melt inside the dumpling with the aromatics, but texturally very specific for having two textures. And this man has given you a perfect example of that crispy and that steam with such a heavenly bite when mixed with those, those luscious fats. Luscious fats, baby. The dish. This is called a moco loco. Now, from my understanding, Moco Loco in itself is in one of those incredible hybrid fusion. But then you have something called Bulldog Sauce, which is like the Japanese like barbecue ketchup sauce, right? And then that beautiful, beautiful egg. Sticky rice on point. Sticky rice is kind of sweet, kind of sticky. It's a whole texture unto itself. This is high dining concept, executed family friendly. The work being done here is a lot of prep for a bowl of food that is incredible. Koji is one of the oldest molds uh, ever cultured. It's how you make your soy sauce, it's how you make your miso, it's how you make a lot of things. You put it on meat. For every day that it's on the meat, it's like a week's worth of dry aging. So three days, four days worth of on meat, you get almost a month worth of dry aging. The guy running the show here is perhaps the best guy to be kind of doing these things. He's always been big on the science. This is something that needs to be tried when available, and I'm very happy to have it today. The techniques being done here have taken this, you know, loving piece of meat and have elevated them. It's a perfect cook with that magic koji crust because mm. you have other interaction. The texture's different and they're salty and it, it, it's sweet and it's miso -y and it's not miso -y and it's nutty. But I will tell you, it's, the flavor is delicious. That is one of the finest examples of a restaurant steak in kosher. Today we have a fascinating example of a duck matzo ball, using all of our comfortable ideas that we grew up with, with everything else that we've never explored before, yeah. and putting it together. This level of execution does not exist. The broth itself is a 19 step process. It takes two days, and then you have to layer. And we're not layering one thing, two things, three things, four things. You're layering seven, eight, nine very specific ingredients. That yeah. means your green's gotta be a certain way. It means your duck's gotta be a certain way. Your spice has gotta be a certain way. We have a chicken dal, which is wonderful, and a green curry. Again, the levels 
and steps that it took to put all of these together. There's a noodle in here, there's an egg in here, there's a green curry itself that takes a whole lot of time to make. And then we have a yellow dal. Dal is, is a lentil and a cumin seed and some other things. And it's always in a very expressive flavor. It's bright, it can be everything, and everything goes with it. And the chicken dal is going to be spicy, and to eat it along a yellow curry noodle, this is why you come here. It doesn't exist anywhere else. I'm gonna start with the dal, please. I would call this a panty purry. And it's a dip and a chip, and the idea is, is that you have this light fry panty purry, and you're supposed to just kinda bite into the panty and, and get that texture and, and crunch that's just holding spice and explosive flavor. This is not supposed to be hot at once. This is supposed to be a continual, gradual, beautiful rise in heat, which is also tempered by other things like those earthy kind of clovey flavors. Green curry. We often don't get to see this kind of color in kosher eating, and it's the flavor of it all. This tastes green of a certain way. Okay. And it's also a noodle. <laughs> What is accessible and happening here is not happening anywhere else in the world of kosher, at least from our experience. And who are we? We're not experts. Right? This guy knows what he's doing. And he's illustrating brand new flavors, textures, executing incredibly fine dining here in, in concept and skill. Family style, friendly style, just sit in stives. Come here, open mind yourself, go nuts. Enjoy yourself. This has been Naruto Ball, Teaneck, New Jersey. Oh, 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 oh,